Hello, this is Heather Dawn Astronomy and today we're going to be discussing rogue planets, also known as wandering planets and runaway planets. Now Earth, as you will know, is in a stable orbit around the Sun. But some planets out there don't have a Sun. They have been cast aside and hurled into interstellar space and they are just free roaming around the darkness. How would this happen, you may ask? Well, some scenarios suggest, and some theories suggest, that when other solar systems in the universe were forming, some of these planets crossed paths, and one of the planets would bang into the other one, causing it to hurl into space and lose its gravitational um, general circuit. There could have been other gravitational interferences, such as the sun dying, casting these planets out there into space, or early 4.5 billion years ago within our solar system, um, there was a rogue planet. Now this did actually crash into Earth, and the um, name that it's been given is Thea. Now when Thea was out there roaming the solar system, it crossed paths with Earth and they crashed into each other, causing Earth to become a lava-covered planet. Now, over the years, the debris from this massive collision has formed and created the Moon. This is what is thought. Gravitational force is a huge benefit to Earth because it keeps us in a stable orbit. If a planet has been formed and it doesn't have that stable orbit, it will be forced to just be wandering and they can be very dark and very distant and it's very difficult for our telescopes to detect these, these bodies out there in space. So for example, the Kepler telescope um, is something Earth made obviously that is out there looking for other planets around other systems, other suns. Uh, it's very hard for it to detect other planets that are out there that are wandering around, just doing their own thing, so to speak, because they have no stable orbit. In November 2012, we discovered a planet four times the size of Jupiter, 200 light years away from Earth. This was a wandering planet. This is what first got the astronomers excited about these objects, thinking how many are out there? Now it is thought that there are 200 billion alone in our galaxy of these planets just orbiting around, doing their own thing. And that is more, that is more than the amount of suns that you will see in the night sky. That is just incredible. Um, th there's loads of them out there. I mean, is Earth, again going to be in danger well when you look at it scientifically and you look at the facts and the figures is you know there is a potential that another planet could slam into earth it is quite a small potential and um, quite a small risk should i say but there is that potential because they are so hard to detect it's not until the light of a sun shines on them or if they're emitting a lot of uh, light that we would detect them. Now, if they're just cold bodies because they haven't been surrounded by a sun um, so there would be like a frozen big body of rock, so to speak, it is going to be very, very hard to detect them. You can Google Nibiru, which is one of the biggest... Um, I guess it's a pseudoscience at the moment, but there is a theory that there's a 12th planet near the Earth called Nibiru that is due to crash with us. Please don't get hooked upon all that conspiracy theory stuff. It's just kind of a kind of exciting um, scenario for conspiracy theorists. But I've been Heather Dawn today. We've been discussing rogue planets. Please Google rogue planets, wandering planets, runaways. Um, there's another name for them. What is it? Free floating planets. Uh, it's quite exciting because we, we just tend to think of planets as, as things that go around a sun, but there are many out there that are just wandering free. Next time I see you, which is hopefully not as long as the last video, we're going to be discussing shooting stars. I've been Heather Dawn, you've been my viewer, thank you so much um, and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.